Hello everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV and we're here to talk about the England 2, Turkey 1 result. And it's basically just to make, make uh, what, what we think of the game, I suppose. So, judging by England's lineup, now you have to remember, if we go straight in the lineups, England didn't have the Manchester United contingent of Smolin, Rooney and the soon to be new, new, newly capped Rashford. So they were playing in the FA Cup final, hence the why they missed this game. And they should be back for the Australia game on Friday. So if you look at the side that he went with Hart, he went with um, Walker, Cahill, Stones, Rose, and then the two sitting, which were Dyer and Wilshire, and then he had Sterling, Ali, um, and then he had Vardy playing as a, on the left, and then he had Kane through the middle with Sterling on the right, if I said that correctly. So that's what that's what he went with on there in the starting eleven. So there's a couple of things looking at the side. You, you need Raheem Sterling because he hasn't played much football. He he play, he got his fitness back in Wilshire played 65 minutes as well. And the other question was obviously Henderson come off the bench and he played 25 minutes. So there's a couple of runners to get the fitness levels up for the lads. Looking at the Turkish lineup as well. You probably have to say that Arda Turan, who was playing for the Super Cup final, which Barca won, um, he wasn't selected. But they, 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 they were the big star, the, the free kick specialist, which is Gal Hanoglu. He, he played, he actually scored in the game today as well, so he plays for Bayer Leverkusen. And it's an interesting stat as well that Turkey have. Turkey are unbeaten in 13 games, and they're only three places behind England. So it's, it's not like a Mickey Mouse side that they're playing, you know. It is, it's not like a top, top nation, but it's the bracket underneath. Okay, so how did the game go? Um, to be honest, we were very, very lucky with the first goal. The Harry Kane goal was not a goal. So if I was Turkish, and I'm looking a bit Turkish tonight, mind, aren't I? Um, <laughs> here come the jokes. But that goal was not a goal, was it? It wasn't. It was Harry Kane. There was So on the build-up to the goal, there was a little inter interplay with Sterling and uh, Ali and St and then there was a great little ball through by Ali to Kane and then Kane great little side finish don't get me wrong 1-0 up and van 5 minutes in and I'm, I'm thinking that's offside straight away I knew straight away watching it at work knew straight away and you give it as well I was like whoa alright then we'll take that but Turkey to be fair to them the next probably the next 10 to 15 minutes were threatening the goal as well I mean to be honest in the first half, I would have to say Turkey probably just shaded it. I know they did score the equaliser, which will come on to now, which there's a couple of issues on that. I mean, the Delhi Ali where Delhi Ali just head to back and the air going backwards, and England didn't really play it out. And then the Turks play it on the right wing. Danny Rose not tight enough to his man. And then Joe Hart comes flying out to try and capture him. I think it's two errors there. Not major ones, just small minor ones. And then the ball squared to Kalinoglu, who put it in an empty net, so it's 1 1. And to be fair, the Turks deserved that. Going in the second half, it was a lot more better, I think. I think it was better when. I think it was better when Roy changed it, because he went with 4 3 3. And when he changed it to a 4 2. When he changed it to a 4 4 2, Diamond, and he played Vardy up front with Kane, will look so, so much better going forward. Because Vardy in the first half, for me, was track back, and yes, I know, but. If you didn't want Jamie Vardy track back and he's got pace to burn, use it. So that helped as well. Uh, there's a few chances as well that um, Czech had as well. Uh, I'll pronounce it in sec, they, they took a striker as well. Especially on the edge of the area when he turned and fired just wide. I was like, oh. oh. So all in all, yeah, um, we're seeing Henderson come on. We're seeing Drinkwater come on. Um, the penalty incident as well. Um, very, very similar. Do you know when Vardy was sent off in the Premier League against it was West Ham? Almost identical, but I have to say, being English, you say it would be a penalty, but if I was Turkish, again, it is harsh, but you'd probably say it's just a penalty, in my opinion. And then Harry Kane steps up and blazes it wide off the outside of the post, so try to be a little bit too precise. What really what um, puzzled me was Harry Kane was, all, was on all the set pieces today. That's not going to be the case when Rooney comes back in. So, um, But, you know, it's friendly. This is what we're here for, to experiment there's no point playing the stronger side over and over and over in these three games as well. And towards the end, Joe Hart had to pull out a great save from OJ as well. But before that, that's when the uh, the Vardy goal came in as well from the corner. The Turks couldn't clear it. Bit of a mess up on the goal line. And then Vardy shoots from about three yards in off Vulcan's head. So we won the game 2-1. Um, we look so much better, as, as I've said. So what are the five things that we've learned from today's game? So the first thing is, obviously, we look better, as I've already mentioned, with Vardy and Kane up front, because 4-3-3 for me with Vardy on the left doesn't work. Now, how Rooney's going to fit into that side if he plays 4-3-3 three, three 
we don't know. Um, so I suppose on the on the positive though, we can mix and match. We're not stuck with the basic four four two Mike Bassett Mike Bassett England manager, you know. You can't mix it up with the four four two or the four four two Diamond when because Sterling went behind the striker today. So that's a good thing. Hodgson on the positive has admitted and he's given a big massive hint tonight that he sees Harry Kane as the main striker because he said that he's the focal point. So it looks like that Harry Kane is ahead of Vardy. Some of you might have already known that. Some of you will probably disagree, but that's what Hodgson said. Um, the other two uh, things is Wilshire and Henderson as well coming back from match fitness. So they're the extra two men that were included in the provisional side as well. Um, and defensively, we did... On the negative, defensively, we looked a little bit shaky. Um, we were protected from the midfield, probably not. But again, it's friendlies. This is not a Mickey Mouse side. So full-backs, mm, iffy. Uh, the two centre-backs, I think that'll change because I think Smallin will be a first choice alongside Cahill. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't rate John Stones this season. I've seen him do a lot of errors and he's been in and out uh, of the Everton side as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come on to a few tweets which I've asked you for as well. Uh, if you want to get involved in any of your polls or tweet me, you know, uh, it's on it's on the screen. So, first of all, the first one come through of Jake Fossey, which you see on your screen there. So, he says, I think Roy is still working with the squad out of lots of new players, but Vardy and Kane need to play central together for it to work. Exactly. I've just covered that myself as well. So, another person who spots that straight away. Uh, John Routledge, he says, Vardy shouldn't be crossing the ball. He'd be receiving the ball. So, again, echoes what that's two or three people said straight away. Uh, Graham Richardson, hello Graham. Buzzing, are oh, you buzzing, Graham? Uh, it's a personal joke between me and him. Uh, Vardy didn't work on the left, should have played the strength, worked better when changed at the second half. Again, these are all the tweets are looking very, very similar here. Uh, and finally, I uh, got one off uh, uh, Robson who says Sterling was lacking that that winger flair. Would have loved to seen Townsend come on. So um, I'll probably be agree with that, but Sterling's only coming from match fitness. We all know he will be a regular in the starting lineup for the Euros. Um, yeah, that's a bit of bias, I'm guessing, as well, being Townsend coming on because he's had a great three month at Newcastle. So there's a few tweets for you. Like I said, if you want to get involved, of course. Um, if you want to get get involved with any videos as well, uh, we've got a few lined up um, fans. It's, it's a fans channel, so I want you involved as well. So get your clips sent in if you want to be involved. Uh, messages and of course I'll get you involved as well and of course I'll get some more tune videos out for you this week and the England coverage continues because we've got Australia on Friday so if you're not even a tune fan like the video subscribe because I'll be covering all of the Euros once eventually kicks off not just England so uh, Newcastle fans TV uh, good night